You know, what, what search does is unique in the sense that it takes the intelligence of Gemini and we ground it with what search knows about the world. Mm. You know, what people really value is accurate, trustworthy information. Google's Gemini AI just received a major upgrade and it's shaking things up in mobile communication. This new feature promises to streamline your interaction with Gemini on lock screen without limits. But what exactly can it do? Let's dive into the details of Gemini's lock screen functionality and explore how it might transform the way you use your Android device. Gemini AI lock screen feature. Google's Gemini AI recently received a significant upgrade on Android phones, enhancing its usability and convenience. As initially announced at Google I.O. 2024 earlier this year, the new Gemini on lock screen feature has now been rolled out. This feature allows users to interact with the chatbot without needing to unlock or even touch their phones. Before this update, Gemini's functionality on the lock screen was quite limited. It could only perform basic tasks that Google Assistant was capable of handling, such as setting alarms, adjusting some settings, and controlling volume and media playback. For any more complex tasks, users had to unlock their phones first. However, with the new upgrade, this limitation has been removed. Now Gemini can answer general questions directly from the lock screen. For example, you can ask Gemini to solve a math problem, tell you the local weather, get news updates, check their schedules, provide basic factual trivia and more, all without the need to unlock their phones. While this may seem like a minor update, this upgrade greatly enhances the convenience of using Gemini, making it a more powerful tool for everyday use. Unlocking your phone can sometimes feel like an unnecessary step, particularly if your phone isn't readily accessible. With this new feature, you can bypass the hassle of unlocking your phone to get quick answers. This is especially convenient when you don't have your phone in your hand. For instance, if you're busy cooking and need to know a measurement conversion, or if you're getting ready in the morning and want to know the weather forecast, you can simply ask Gemini without touching your phone. Moreover, the ability to interact with Gemini from a distance adds to its practicality. Imagine you are sitting on the couch and want to check a fact or get a quick piece of information without getting up. You can now do this by just asking Gemini, provided the volume on your phone is high enough for you to hear the response clearly. This update enhances the functionality of Gemini, making it more accessible and useful in various situations. It demonstrates how small technological improvements can have a significant impact on user convenience and experience. The ability to interact with Gemini without unlocking the phone represents a significant step forward in making AI more accessible and integrated into daily routines. Users can quickly get the information they need while on the go without the extra step of unlocking their devices. This not only saves time, but also makes it easier to use the AI assistant in a hands-free manner which is especially useful when multitasking or when hands are occupied. This upgrade demonstrates Google's commitment to improving user experience and expanding the capabilities of its AI technologies. By making Gemini more versatile and accessible, Google is ensuring that its AI tools are not only powerful, but also easy to use, fitting smoothly into the daily lives of its users. This enhancement is likely to increase the adoption and utilization of Gemini on Android devices making it a more integral part of the Android ecosystem. Gemini on lock screen limitation. While the new Gemini on lock screen feature offers significant convenience, there are still limitations on what Gemini can do without user verification. This means that while Gemini can answer general questions, it cannot perform tasks that involve sensitive or personal information without some form of user authentication. For example, if you want to access your calendar, check your email, or retrieve personal messages, you will still need to unlock your phone. This is a crucial security measure to ensure that sensitive information is not accessible to anyone who might ask a question while your phone is locked. The primary aim of this restriction is to protect user privacy and security, which remains a top priority for Google. The implementation of these security protocols means that Gemini won't be opening the floodgates to sensitive information. It ensures that only general, non-sensitive inquiries can be answered without unlocking the device. This safeguard prevents potential misuse where someone could, for instance, try to access your private data by simply asking Gemini while your phone is locked. This approach balances convenience with security, 
Users can benefit from quick access to basic information without compromising their personal data. The system is designed to ensure that only verified users can access private and sensitive information, maintaining the integrity and confidentiality of user data. In practice, this means that while you can ask Gemini to play a song, tell you a joke, or provide a quick fact, you cannot ask it to send a text, make a phone call, or access personal documents without verifying your identity. This restriction helps prevent unauthorized access and ensures that your personal information remains secure. How to get started. The Gemini Unlock Screen feature is still in the process of rolling out, so it might not be available to all users immediately. However, Google has provided a guide to help users enable or disable this feature, allowing them to check its availability and start using it as soon as it becomes accessible on their devices. To start, open the Settings app on your Android device and navigate to the Security section. Once there, scroll down to find options related to the lock screen or screen lock settings. Look for an option related to using the Voice Assistant, Google Assistant Josh Gemini, on the lock screen, which might be labeled something like Assistant on Lock Screen or Voice Assistant Access. Next, toggle the feature on to allow Gemini to be accessed from the lock screen. This will enable the feature allowing you to ask Gemini questions without unlocking your phone. You may also have additional settings to customize what Gemini can do from the lock screen. For instance, you might choose to restrict certain functionalities for added security. By following these steps, you can quickly check if the Gemini on lock screen feature is available on your device and start using it. These instructions are user-friendly, ensuring that even those who are not particularly tech savvy can easily navigate the process. Once enabled, users can ask Gemini general questions directly from the lock screen, enhancing convenience and accessibility. If at any point you decide that the feature is not as useful as they anticipated or prefer not to have it active, you can easily disable it using the same guide. This flexibility allows you to customize your experience with Gemini, ensuring that the AI assistant works in a way that best suits their preferences and needs. The ability to toggle the feature on and off means that users are not locked into a particular setup and can adapt their use of Gemini based on their current requirements. For instance, a user might find the feature particularly helpful during busy periods, when quick access to information is essential, but may choose to turn it off during quieter times to avoid any potential distractions. Extensions Unlocking earlier reports about the lock screen control hinted at potential future additions to Gemini's capabilities on the lock screen. Specifically, it appears that four of Google's services, Google Maps, Google Flights, Google Hotels, and YouTube, will become accessible as Gemini extensions on the lock screen. While the exact nature of these upgrades remains unclear, it is expected that users will be able to perform several tasks directly from the lock screen. For instance, with Google Maps as a Gemini extension, users might be able to get directions and track their location without unlocking their phones. Similarly, Google Flights could allow users to track flight statuses and schedules. Google Hotels might enable quick searches for hotel options, and YouTube could allow for video playback and searches. These future additions could significantly enhance the utility of Gemini making it an even more powerful tool for quick, on-the-go access to information and services. By integrating these services into the lock screen functionality, Google aims to provide users with seamless access to important information and entertainment without compromising on security. The expanded Gemini access on Android is a key part of Google's strategy to embed the AI assistant more deeply across its services and into users' daily lives. By enabling general question answering directly from the lock screen, Google addresses a common complaint about the device's convenience. This feature allows users to quickly access information without the hassle of unlocking their phones, making interactions with Gemini smoother and more efficient. This enhancement not only improves user experience, but also encourages Android users to rely on Gemini over other digital assistant options. In a market where Google Assistant has faced stiff competition from voice assistants like Amazon's Alexa and Apple's Siri, making Gemini more accessible and useful is a strategic move. It positions Gemini as a more competitive option, potentially increasing its adoption and integration into users' routines. 
With these improvements, Google aims to ensure that Gemini thrives in the evolving digital assistant market. The ability to answer questions and perform tasks from the lock screen makes Gemini a more attractive and convenient option for users. This expanded access is likely to boost user engagement and satisfaction, helping Gemini gain a stronger foothold against its competitors. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.